Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Sam, or Chaotic, and welcome back to another GTA 5 video here on my channel. Now in today's video, I have an awesome glitch to share with you guys, this being the invisible or the transparent aircraft glitch in GTA Online. This glitch is extremely easy and very, very simple to do, only taking seconds, and you'll have something which looks a little like this. A plane which is almost invisible, it's basically transparent as if it was in passive mode even though it isn't. This glitch of course does work with any aircraft or helicopter in GTA Online, not just this one, the Titan, that I'm showing you guys as an example in the intro gameplay right now. So let's go ahead then and take a look how this glitch is done. So to start things off then, like I said, it really is a very simple and easy glitch, but there are a few things you're going to need if you want to do this. So first of all, of course, you need to have an aircraft hangar. And inside here, you need to have at least two aircrafts, one you want to do this glitch with, and it has to be either a medium or large size aircraft, and a small one as well. So as you guys can see in the gameplay, as an example, I have the Hydra, which I'm gonna do this glitch with first of all, and I have the Sea Sparrow as well. Now, by the way, your hangar hasn't got to be as empty as mine. I've just put all the other aircrafts into storage to make this tutorial as clear as possible, so you can leave all your other aircrafts out. It doesn't matter. From here then, what you want to do is make your way to the blue management circle, then enter the floor and select your small size aircraft and you want to move it into a different position which overlaps the medium or large sized aircraft. So kind of similar to how I have it right now, so the aircraft grays out and becomes transparent. From here then, press the pause button, go to online and scroll down to the criminal enterprise starter pack. Once it loads up, give it a second or two and then back out. And when you do, you'll no longer be in the management menu, you'll just be back into free roam and able to move around. When you turn around and make your way back to your aircraft, you'll find the aircraft you are just overlaying is still transparent like it was in the menu. And what's even more interesting about this, you can now get into the aircraft as well and it becomes even more transparent upon doing so. This may even be more transparent than what it is in passive mode, but I haven't done a side by side comparison just yet. You can of course then take this outside and the aircraft remains transparent as well. So you can do whatever you want. You can fly around, you can park it and just leave it there. It doesn't really matter. It will only become fully solid again once you take it back into your aircraft hangar. So there we go, that's it for this glitch. It really is a very simple and easy one, taking no more than a few seconds to actually do this. And like I said, this will work with pretty much every aircraft in GTA Online, given that it's a medium or large sized aircraft. And most things in GTA Online do fit into those categories. And like I said at the start of the video, this also works with helicopters as well, not just planes. And I have some gameplay of this with the Akula coming up in a few moments. And by the way, guys, before I forget, when you do this glitch, even though you may look like you're in passive mode, you're not actually in passive mode. It's just part of the transparent glitch as if your plane was still in that management circle. So that means, yes, you still have full access to all your weapons. As far as I'm aware of, there are no limitations with this glitch. You still have the ability of doing everything which you'd usually have if the plane was normal. So I guess with this glitch, you can trick other players in your session into thinking you're in passive mode even though you're not, and you can fire your weapons at them when they're least expecting it. Now I guess it's also worth pointing out that my aircraft that I'm showing off in this gameplay are pretty standout colors, with my Hydra being a bright hot pink and my Akula being a matte black, but if you went for some lighter or more transparent colors, maybe like a light blue, you'd certainly blend in a lot more and it wouldn't stand out as much. Especially to those players who may be below you and looking up, you would certainly blend in with the sky a lot more. And finally, I'm not too sure how important this is, but you'll see this in the gameplay in a few moments. When you're close to the ground, you'll notice your aircraft will no longer have a shadow when you do this glitch. All you'll see is a shadow for your character sitting in the pilot seat, and that's it. Kind of a weird thing, but there we go. So with that being said, guys, that's pretty much it then for this video. Of course, I wanna get your thoughts and feelings on this video and this glitch, so go ahead and leave a comment. And if you guys have any questions or issues with this, of course, ask them in the comment section, and I'll do my best to help you guys out. But with that being said, if you guys could drop a like on this video, it would of course be greatly appreciated and it helps me out a lot. I love small little glitches like this and hopefully you guys do too. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time.